This is a first day review on the head spinal glide drum throne, which, spoiler alert, is the most comfortable throne I've ever played on. And not only is this split here, which helps reduce the tension on your tailbone, help majorly, but this seat is very, very, very wide. Oh, about 18 inches or so, roughly. And that is very big. It is much bigger than I had expected. And one thing that's really, really cool too, is we got the double bracing on there. So one and two. We also have the double tightening right there. And then we also have a tightener there, which helps the spinny guy to stop spinning. And then you got your tightening guy there. I love my terminology. Doesn't matter, you don't need to have really good terminology to understand this is a really, really, really good throne. And so much so that I wanted to do a review on it because I took it out of the box, I played on it, and I barely set it to what I thought I needed. And there's a lot of really good things about it. One thing I need to mention is that with this spin, I hate thrones that spin. I always have. Because usually they feel like they wobble too much, still when they spin. This does not. This does not wobble at all. So if I was to loosen up this bolt right here and pull that off, there is actually a very, very large amount. Uh, so however much that is, so probably about two, maybe almost three inches or so of space that sits on this middle bar, this middle pole, and it holds it in really, really, really well. This is the old one, which uh, I will leave the brand unmentioned. And if we look at the bottom, it snapped off pretty nasty right there. And you got a pretty bad curve, which is hard to see in the camera, but it's pretty bad. So I'm gonna do a really strange review. I'm going to put the camera down here and play I can really review it, but let's go apart. Let's take this thing apart here. See what's up. So if I loosen this bad boy up, you obviously got this nice red velvet. They do make different styles. This is the style I like. My band does a lot of red and black, so of course I had to get it. You got a really, really big plate. Really big. If I can find a tape measure again. Who cares? Who needs it? It's big. It's really, really big. I mean, if you look at this thing compared to my stomach, that's pretty big compared to a human torso. And then again, we got this tightening nut, and we got this tightening nut. So that's the main seat, and it's really soft. Really, really thick, almost my whole hand. Super, super comfortable. This part, this is pretty damn heavy already. So we got this, which is nice and smooth and glides. My old throne, not so much, did not glide very well, for especially for a very long time. So that feels good. I really like this, which helps tighten up the spinning middle bar, and that goes up to, well, let's see, how far does that go up? If we were to go all the way up, well, it's still going. Oh, it actually does stop, though, too. So it stops so it doesn't come out too far. That's kind of nice. So whatever that stopper is, I had a nice perfect setting. So I guess I'll have to mess with it again. And once those tighten down, like I said, even when that's tightened down, and it's as strong as that is and as thick as that is, um, even when the chair wiggles, it doesn't bother me, and I usually hate that. So I'm excited to actually play shows with this. I don't know when I'm going to actually get to, but I'm going to be practicing with this a lot. So maybe I'll do a follow-up in a couple of years after I get some touring down once the pandemic is over, and I can give some more insight on this. But overall, first day, love it. Absolutely love it. Pick one up.